In the tumultuous tempest of 1927, a saga of ambition and aviation unfurled its wings in the very heart of Patterson, Louisiana. Enter Harry P. Williams, a man submerged in the vast expanse of the world's largest cypress logging milling operation. And on the other side, Jimmy Waddell, a young pilot with an insatiable thirst for the boundless skies. Picture this, Jimmy at the helm of an air cade gracefully descends upon Patterson. Curiosity sparking in Williams' eyes, a confession escapes his lips. A confession for an unquenchable thirst for the thrill of flight. And so, in the blink of an eye, Waddell takes him on a ride. And that, my friends, is where the legend of Harry Williams truly takes flight. By the waning days of 1928, Williams seals the pact, acquiring his very own Ryan, which is an airplane. This alliance gives birth to the Waddell-Williams Flying Service, a force to be reckoned with by early 1929. Their service sprouted like wildflowers in Patterson, Shreveport, and the untamed expanses of Jefferson Parish. Yet Waddell wasn't just a mere pilot, he was a maestro of the skies. His legendary 44 becomes a celestial conqueror, etching his name in the heavens with an awe-inspiring 48 victories in major national races. Now imagine the triumphant crescendo at the Pan American Air Races of 1934. Waddell, an aviator extraordinaire, ascends to even greater heights. Victorious not once, but twice. First in his formidable 44, and then in the freshly minted 45. Setting ablaze the heavens with a mind-bending speed of 266 miles per hour. Confidence soaring higher than the altitudes they conquered. The great Claire Lee Chenault bestows his belief. The contract to mass produce the 45 for the army gleams within their grasp. But alas, fate, an undenying force, weaves that tragic twist. Waddell plummets to his demise within mere weeks. The coveted contract slips through their fingers, finding refuge with Curtis Wright Corporation, birthing the immortal P-40, the Flying Tigers, a squadron destined in the humble Japan zero in the boundless skies over China. Two short years later, the wheels of fate turn again. Harry Williams meets a similar destiny near Baton Rouge. His ashes, a testament to the indomitable spirit, scattered over the hollow ground of the Patterson Landing Strip. Their legacy persists, echoing through stone eagles, preserved mansions, and the resilient wings of the Williams Memorial Airport. Today, in the shadows of Patterson, the Waddell Williams branch of the State Museum stands as a living testament to their audacious spirit, a sanctuary where the empire of the Williams lumber meets the roaring skies, an eternal tribute to the pioneers who dared to dance with the clouds. In the grand tapestry of history, the names Williams and Waddell etched themselves as pioneers of a bygone era, where the winds whispered tales of courage and the skies bore witness to Patterson's aviation legends. So remember, racing's cool, but stay in school, and may your skies always be clear.